These are recent news headlines. Uh, you can check these out. House Republicans agree on something, impeachment inquiry into Biden. Representative Nancy Mace, Republican from South Carolina, says she wants to subpoena everybody. Hunter Biden, the bookkeeper, business partners, I would like to see more whistleblowers come forward. The LA Times, uh, Kevin McCarthy's impeachment inquiry proves there's only one political party of revenge, the GOP. On my way over here today, uh, just listening to the radio, hearing congressmen talking about four witnesses coming forward with testimony uh, about Biden. And uh, it was interesting, one of the congressmen said that none, not one of those four witnesses that was brought forth to testify before Congress, not one of those witnesses thought there was enough evidence to impeach President Biden. Worth noting that the Founding Fathers included impeachment in the Constitution to protect democracy from the threat of corrupt politicians. And there are lessons we can draw from Blunt's impeachment to inform our current decisions about Republicans' move to impeach Biden. He was an ardent Federalist after the American Revolution. George Washington, one of the leading Federalists, appointed Blunt to govern the Southwest Territory around 1790. Blunt was the first government official to be impeached under Article II, Section 4 of the Constitution. Blunt had motivated people in his home state of North Carolina to ratify the Constitution. Washington had been a surveyor, and he had speculated in some Western lands himself. Blunt was an even greater land speculator than George Washington. Blunt relocated his governor's headquarters to a new area he named Knoxville in 1792. Federalists want more power in the federal government. Federalists want less power in the state's government. William Blunt and Andrew Jackson were elected to represent Tennessee in the nation's capital as senator and congressman. The frontiersmen under Blunt's control and British forces had succeeded in this plot. They were then to transfer those territories that they conquered over to Great Britain. On July 3rd, 1797, President Adams sent the incriminating letter to both the Senate and the House, accompanied by a special, special message charging that Blunt had sought the aid of a United States government agent and the, and, and the British to seize Spanish Florida and Louisiana. Adams acted on opinion from the Attorney General that the letter was evidence of a crime and that Blunt, a senator, was liable to impeachment under the Constitution. It, I, think it's, I think it's deliberately vague to let politicians on the ground kind of sort through this mess. Blunt suddenly reappears, but he refuses to answer any questions about his behavior. Instead, he insists on his right to legal counsel. Lawyers up! Now tell me that doesn't look guilty when people do that. I'm not talking about anything I did. I want my lawyer. Unless I did something wrong. The Senate expelled Blunt by a vote of 25 to 1. The Senate voted that William Blunt was not an impeachable officer. Because the Senate was exempt from the impeachment process. Shocking, right? The House said he was, the Senate's like, we expelled him, so we kind of agreed with you, but now upon further reflection, that does bear upon us, and so no, we're going to close that loophole and ban the impeachment of senators going forward. We can now impeach senators. One senator has been impeached in our history. Do you think Blunt deserved his impeachment hearings? I think yes. I think there's enough there there for the impeachment hearings to be held. From start to finish, it's pure politics with Blunt. I don't think it is, but I think it is today. I think it's a, it's, it's, it's a sham from start to finish. <laughs> I think that in certain cases though, po politics enters more than in other cases, okay? Like when we're impeaching the President of the United States a month before November elections, you have to wonder, do you not? You have to wonder. I think most of us are wondering right now, like, what is really going on 